let us now look at end correction case of an organ pipe to understand this saw in case of open pipe that if a wave is superimposed or if a wave is passed from this side or vice versa then the wave travels to other end because of which there will be high pressure at this this high pressure would reflect the waves back so that waves coming from here and here would superimpose giving us standing waves of different frequencies but in practice what is seen is because of inertia of motion of the particle because these air particles will move because of their inertia of motion the reflection of wave doesn't happen at the open end so if you look at it draw a line here this should be the open end so the reflection doesn't happen here rather there is a pressure node or pressure which is high at a distance slightly more than length of this pipe that distance we need to add it to the total length of the pipe that is called as end correction what is seen theoretically is that end correction called as small e this is given by a form small e is equal to 0.3 into d the d here is diameter of this tube in terms of radius we can say e is equal to 0.3 into d would be 2 times radius therefore e is equal to r so actual formula for frequencies in any mode would have been not just l l was length of the tube rather it would be l plus 6 into r so for any mode of vibration in any case example you saw in case of a open pipe that what f1 is equal to v by 4l this was neglecting end correction with end correction what we get is comes 4 times the length becomes l plus 0.6 into r so for every case what we learned earlier the length is modified length becomes l plus 0.6 into r this is called as end correction 